Now I am going to give one more column. Count of job. Sorry. Count of commission. Means, where is the commission column here? Yeah, this is the commission column. C O M M commission. Okay. Now it is going to give the count of this column. How many records are there? Okay. Here always it's it's not going to calculate the null values. The count of column means whatever the records are there, only that records only is going to calculate always. Here all the records are present, all the values are available. That is the reason it's showing the the count star and count of employee number both are matching here. But come to the count of commission. Here only it's not matching the See what is the what is the records are there here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Five records. Only five records are there. Remaining all will be populating as a null value. So it won't consider these all values. Okay. See guys. Now you people know the difference. What is the count star? What is the count of column? Count star means if your null values are there, our entire record is also null also there. It's going to give the result. How many records are present in the table? That many records, the count is going to display here. But the count of column means if any null values are there in that particular column, that it won't consider. Without null values, what are the not null values are there? That data is going to display into the output. Clear, guys? Count star and count of column. Okay. Next, one more thing. So we have the count of one also. Frequently they are going to use in the real time like this. <coughs> count of one. Okay. Count of one is going to calculate. The count of one means count star and count of one both are the same only guys. Count star and count of one both are going to give the same results. The count of one also is going to give the entire table result only. But the performance wise is going to faster than faster compared to the count star. That is the only difference. Other than that, the count star and count of one both are the same. Okay, the count count of one is going to give the faster result compared to the count star. Okay, clear, guys. Now, now we know the what is the sum, what is the max, mean, average, count star, and count of column. Okay, now I am going to explain some queries. Select DPD number, comma, sum of salary from employee table where sum of salary sum of salary equal to two thousand. I'm going to give you a, this one. Now tell me guys, what happened? This one is going to give the result or not? Yes sir. If you give the result, what is the result count? Wait, I am going to give, sorry. All the salary about 2000 will show sir. Tell me guys, this one is going to give the result or not first? One by one will go. So this select DPT number comma sum of salary from EMP where salary greater than 2000. If I wrote like this, query, what is my output? So, so salary is above 3000 will uh, appear. So, so whoever gets the 2000. If any employee will get a salary. 
Okay. Any other answers? If any employee gets a salary more than two thousand rupees, that amount will show him. Okay. Good. Good. Sir, yeah. in EMP table, it will select department number, sir. What we are asking for that department number. What is the salary higher than two thousand? It will be give the total sum okay. and numbers. Okay. Any other answers? Any other answers, guys? Okay. We will see. We will include this one. What happened? It throw the error. Why it's throwing the error, guys? Why it's throwing the error? You can't use group. Group. We are not sir. We are not sir. Yeah. So we didn't use the group by function. So I told, whenever we use the any aggregate function, any aggregate function means sum, max, min, average, count, anything. Whenever we use the any aggregate function in the select statement, if any non-aggregated column is available in the select statement. This is the aggregated column. This is the non-aggregated column. Okay. If any non-aggregated column is available in the select statement, that column we have to use in the group by class. Okay. That columns we have to use in the group by mandatory. If you have ten columns are there here, other than the department number, we have the ten columns are there. So which is the aggregate column? The non-aggregated columns are the ten or Ten is available. All the ten columns you have to use in the group by. Okay. Group by DPT number. Okay. Now we will see what happened. So now it will be seven thousand seven ten seven four five zero. The sum of salary came the. Seven four zero zero. What is the result it given? We'll see. So it it fetch the hour. now earlier how it showing the data eight thousand four seven fifty something. Okay. Now it going to filter first. It's going to filter salary. So I I, I told the execution will be based on the first first is going to execute the from class. Then it is going to immediately it is going to execute the where class. Okay. The from is employee table is going to sell employee table. So here is going to check the who had the salary greater than two thousand. So five thousand is a greater than two. Thirteen hundred is a it's not a greater than two. Two thousand. So it's not going to select. Okay, this one greater than two thousand. So is the for department ten is going to select these two records. Okay, it's going to select these two records. Five thousand plus two four five zero, seven thousand four fifty. My result will be seven thousand four fifty. Okay. Now one more thing I am going to give. This is the one query. Now if I am going to give here sum of salary. Now tell me guys, what is my output here? If I execute this query, what happen? What is the it going to give the result? It's throwing. I think it's showing error. Okay. Why? Why it's throwing error? Uh, you're saying no. Uh, uh, first to from class zero, then where class zero. Uh-huh. Uh, then after group by, then select statement is uh, zero. Okay, but it will zero, right? What is the issue here? In this query. What is the result? What is the wrong in this query? Sum of salary greater than two thousand. Uh huh. What is the wrong in this one? Sum of salary greater than two thousand. Any other answers, guys? What is going to give the result here? Okay, we'll see. We'll execute first. We'll see what is the error. What happened? Group function group is function. not available here. Means, so in the where class, in the where class, we can't apply the group by functions. 
aggregated functions we can't able to use in the where class where we are going to use in the aggregate functions so i told in the the having class that is the reason i told the difference between the having and where class on top of the grouping results we are going to apply any filter condition we are only using the yeah. having class okay so i am going to give the just i am going to disconnect this delete this one so if you want to apply the grouping result grouping on top of the grouping if you want to apply the filter condition so on top of this result i am going to apply the filter condition i have to use the having class having sum of salary greater than 2000 like this we have to use this the sum of salary greater than 2000 under having class not where class okay in the where class we can't apply the this aggregate functions this is general condition where class is a general condition not the group aggregate uh, aggregate conditions okay the aggregate functions we have to use in the only having class if you want to give any filter okay if so i give you give this one see all are going to give because of the all are the greater than 2000 okay now i am going to give the condition where salary greater than 2000 now tell me guys it is going to give the result or any error no error sir okay Get the result. Okay. So in the where class is a general condition. We can any time we can able to use the any condition, but in the where class we can't able to use the aggregate functions. What is the max, min, sum, average, count? These aggregate functions we can't able to apply in the where class. If you want to apply any condition like that, you have to use in the having class. Okay. On top of the group results, if you want to apply any group on top of the grouping conditions, we have to use in the having class only. Clear, guys? Any doubt here? Any doubt? Okay. So the aggregate functions are completed. Now we are going to some other topic. So operators, set operators, there are different operators are there that we are going to discuss, guys, next classes. Okay. So in the functions, the mainly we are going to use this aggregate function. This we are completed, and then we are going to discuss the constraints now. We are going to discuss the constraints. Okay. What is a constraint? Why we are going to use these constraints in our table level? Okay. So constraint is nothing but the it's a condition. This one also, constraint is a condition. 